Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're doing something totally different today that I don't even know if it's been on the internet before. Um, we're actually doing a $25 Walmart challenge, but we're doing it out of the bass boat. So that is something different. I don't think people have done that. Do you, brother? In the river. For you are like branded out. Look at this man. Long story short, Six he... Uh, <laughs> baby. We were in the car for 20 minutes as this man was making a super sick. <laughs> and he's wearing my sunglasses too. Sad part is super I freaking six. scratched the dog out of him and Bradley's wearing them. I left uh, everything in my truck, so we had to make do. Yeah, the man doesn't even have his phone with him today, so that one's going to be interesting. But anyways, we're going to go inside of Walmart, see what they have. $25 Walmart challenge. It's going to be a fun one. Um, we're actually going to be going to the Ogeechee River today too. I'm curious to see what happens. I need my wallet. Yeah, I need my wallet. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a bad one. Yep. I got it, coach. But anyways, I don't know. If you guys want to see some more videos like this, if you guys want to see some more walk, why is the music so loud? I'm so confused with the music right now. <laughs> anyways, if you guys want to see some more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Look we'll make them happen. Mask. We're going to go inside of Walmart, see what they got. Go fishing. Try to catch some big fish. I think uh, I'm just going to catch you guys inside. This music's too loud. Alrighty, we're inside the Walmart. Getting it ready to go. Look at this man just rocking it. <laughs> so sad, baby. That's so funny. We were laughing so hard in the car. <laughs> I was cutting up a super six bag. <laughs> it's been like 20 minutes. Anyways, no. we're gonna go to the fishing section. I'm I'm just curious to see if they actually have anything in here. It's gonna be an interesting no, one because they've been they've been um selling out of everything recently. So and we haven't been in Walmart, and this is a different one than we usually go to. So it's gonna be interesting. I kind of miss the Walmart vlogs. If you guys want to see some more, like I said, let me know down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know. Because I actually enjoy filming these and it's something different. We haven't done it in a while, especially since we're gonna be doing them on the boat now. Dude, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. $25 is your limit, old Brad. I got you. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Okay, well, we gotta get out your cat. Oh, you don't have a phone, you know? I got no phone. I, I can do math. I'm actually really good at math. Three dollars. Yeah, it's some white super flukes. You already know that's gonna get munched. Oh, yeah. Mike, give me a shad wrap. Really? No, I was I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> we need hooks and weights, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Yeah. We got two people just eyeballing the mess out of us. I will say, Bradley. I will say. Do a kind of sauce. I will say that might be some some juice. Think about these tequilas. You could either do that or you could do. Oh, let's do this. Yeah. The black and blue, and it's got like the blue on the tail. I think that'd be I perfect. Don't know how I feel about these. Those are how much are they? Three dollars. Three bucks. So that's six dollars. We got a lot more stuff to buy. Um. Well, there's a couple things. So we're on the river. You know, we killed it like what Bradley got. The flute gets them. Sankos get them. We're gonna need hooks for these, but we'll get that in a second. What else we're gonna do? So this could be fire, this could be fire, and this can be fire. So we got three options, Bradley. We got the pop and pickle, we already know it's just a sauce. We got the booyah spinner bait, which is some sauce. And then we got a chatter bait. So if we had to pick out of the ones, this is nine bucks, bro. Do you really wanna? No. Nah. I, I, I really don't think the pickle today, bro. I hate to say it. Spinner bait is $5. What do you think? Nah, that's too much. What Let's you go saying? with the chatterbait, bro. It's only four dollars. You, you only spent six dollars, bro. If we come under, we might, we might. Let's think about it. We got to get Ned rig hooks. So you'd rather have a chatter donk than a spinnerbait? Yeah. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Okay. Are you sure? I'm a big, I'm a big chatter donk guy. We got to get trailers. What are you, black and blue or, or white? White. Oh. White and shark. Why don't we just get that big thing of sinkos? It's only five bucks. Can I get that? Yeah. No, actually. All right, coach. That's actually a good idea. We're budget fishing, huh? So this is five dollars, and you get technically four packs. Yeah. Versus one pack. Twenty-four pieces. Bradley, what is this? This is greasy. Show the camera. I want. I want look how greasy Bradley is. Bro, I, I'm in a hurry, dog. <laughs> Bradley. We've got to be in and out. Bradley. All right. What else? So now we got this, five bucks plus four bucks, that's nine dollars plus three dollars is twelve dollars. So we're at twelve bucks. We Bro, there's lemon pepper in this one though. And June bug. All right. And it's got hooks in it. All right. We'll still grab those, but we'll get that. See what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. All right. Three dollars, seven dollars is 10 bucks. 
four dollars plus three is seventeen dollars. Okay, we so got plenty 17. of money for hooks. So now we need how many? How many do we need? Eight dollars left. So we're at eighteen dollars now oh, on this challenge. Offer. Yeah, this is like the budget fishing. We should have came over here, but you can get a chopo. I think it's kind of big though. Yeah. I don't know. But we're at eighteen dollars. Yeah, we need hooks for this challenge. So. We have seven dollars left. We're gonna need some hooks and weights, but I don't even think they have any. But <laughs> they don't have any, Bradley. I, I guess that's not a part of the challenge. We could probably get away with some hooks. Do they have hooks? They yeah. Three odd. They got three odd hooks. That's fine. All right. So this is four dollars. Oh my god. So we have three dollars left. We could probably buy like Whoa. another pack of soft Whoa. plastics. I want to throw a Ned rig. They got head rig hooks. I don't even know if they have that bait. To be honest with you. So you want to do that? Yeah. So it's the last three dollars. Yep. Alright, that's 25 bucks. We got the stuff. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna go buy it. Go outside. We'll go over this stuff. Then we're gonna go catch some bass. Action. You good? Yeah. Alright guys, so we are out on the water now and uh we're about to go catch them. So we're gonna go to our first spot, then we're gonna get out our baits, talk a little bit about what we're doing. I think we're gonna smoke them today. I think we're gonna complete this challenge completely complete this challenge completely makes a lot of sense um but yeah i think it's gonna be a fun day this is really cool because we're doing you know a walmart challenge on the boat I don't on know the think, river i don't think anybody nobody's done that matter of fact doing something new today boys and i think we're gonna start doing this a lot if you guys want to see this if you guys want to see some sorts of challenges like this on the boat kind of add them into the boat fishing man like we're down me and bradley talked about it we're like this would be kind of cool um so just let us know comment section down below we'll film a lot of them hit the like button if you're enjoying this one and if you give this video the 5,000 likes, we'll go back to Walmart and do a $50 challenge. Oh God. See what I did there? Yo, I like that. But uh, we're gonna run to our first spot, see if we can catch some fish today. It's gonna be a beautiful day on the water, super hot. Let's get it. All right, boys, we're about to get it started. Bradley, show me what you got. Show me what you got rigged up. Buh. He's got a Sanko rigged up on a shaky head. And I told him, I was like, dude, just so you know, like that's what catches really big fish. Sanko on a shaky head. Not many people know about that, but there's some bigs, way bigger profile. So I think Noah's gonna rig up a lizard right now. I'm not even kidding. I'm about to smoke. I thought you had one first cast. I was like, what? But I'm gonna actually rig up a lizard and try out a lizard. I think we're gonna use the June bug one to start off with and see if we can catch fish on it. I believe I have a Texas rig. Probably was a. Uh, balling today he brought two rods i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna miss the crank bite today <laughs> crank bite the old crank we're on the ogeechee today by the way guys we've been fishing the savannah river and we are on the ogeechee river today and we're gonna be fishing some marsh marshy stuff so i'm excited about it so we got this lizard right here this is june bug got a basic texas rig um as you know they didn't have weights there but we got a half ounce or a three eighth ounce weight or one fourth ounce weight 3i EWG, June bug lizard. We're gonna go right through the head. Boom, just like that. Break it through, rotate the bait back up onto the hook and bury the hook into the bait. Now, I'm not a big lizard thrower, but we have the lemon pepper lizard in there too. So that should be some sauce. There we go. What you think, Bradley? That's gonna get munched. Yeah. You see that stump up there? Yeah. What'd you do with all my line on my reel? Why do you why do you do this, Bradley? Oh, breaking off. Bradley, Bradley would throw my rod for one day and I just have no line on it. That's why when you guys get mad at me, you're like, no, where's your line? Um I should ask Bradley. You know what would be juice is throwing this thing on top. Like a little buzz bait. I like to catch them on a buzz bait. Ooh. Right there, Bradley. You ready? There's a fish on that. He's... That's a big tree. <laughs> what, the, what if I knock the chatter donk off? You got it off. Like, yeah, I got off. It's no. off. No. I pressed my button. Uh, about... I think it ain't coming off. I gotta go over there and get it. And I know there's fish there, so I'm not gonna roll us up on it. Are you serious? Wait, coach. Bro, that ain't even fair. Should we go three? 
Well, not my flute, dog. <laughs> Yo, that rod's going in the water, brother. <laughs> How did I throw like my first two casts? Oh my gosh. Well, this is the biggest cluster that we could ask for at the beginning of the day. <laughs> two baits stuck. Bradley almost got stuck. I just backlashed his fluke. All right, we got to handle this. This is just released my whole spool into the river. I got a log, coach. Are you serious? Oh, no, I got one. No, you didn't. You were capping. <laughs> I got him, bro. Get the net. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, pick up that rod so we can just double pound this one real quick. Double pound it? Didn't you say you caught a big one off this tree? Yeah. Five pounds. Really? A white and orange pound. Oh my gosh, there it is. That's a good one. Let me get the camera. Yeah. That's actually a good one, Bradley. First fish. Not bad. All right, we're hooked up on the lizard. Not bad. Good fish. Not bad. Not bad for the old geech. Look at that. Got the lizard knocked out of the way. Right there inside of his mouth. Look at that. June bug lizard. First bait, first fish of the day. And we're kicking it off. We hit our first little spot and it was just not happening. Came to our second choice and um, it's looking pretty good. If you guys actually look right there, there's zero water in that little pocket. I mean, the tide is low right now. Beautiful little bass to start off the day, start off the challenge, first fish. Gotta love it. Got a pound. Yeah. Decent little geechy fish. All right, guys, that's first fish, old lizard. One down, one down, 20 to go. I like talking to Bradley, he's like, yeah, I caught a five pounder over here. I'll cast it in there and some of a gun bit me right away. I'm actually gonna throw that lizard back in there. I think I just got another bite. That was weird. Look at the bait fish on this tree. See him? All right, guys, I have a chatterbait on my rod. We're gonna try out the chatterbait. See if we can get the next bait knocked off while Bradley's getting that Senko. It's coming up in this little shallow creek right here. And it is so low. It's actually lower than we've ever seen it. This huge sandbar right here. To our left, I've never seen it this low. I don't even know if fish would be back in here, but we're talking about fishing some of the deeper holes. Maybe there'd be a fish, but I will say if there's gonna be a chatterbait bite today, it'd probably be in here. Super shallow. Look at those sandbars, man. They look so intimidating. Low key. Probably golden. Alright, I need to move. Nah, like so, because where we need to get them. All right, guys, we're gonna be moving spots. I have, a, I have an idea of where we could. I think we can catch them pretty good. Yeah, I got a few spots in mind. Oh my god! Can't even put the trolling down. <sighs> guys, this actually. Yeah, I can't even put it down. This ain't Thanks, good. This ain't good, bro. Guys, it's uh, way shallower than we were expecting. This might be a lot oh, harder challenge than we were thinking. All right, guys, we just ran to another side of the river. We're not in that marsh stuff anymore. It's just so shallow. I've never seen the tide this low, and I just don't think it's going to happen over there, um, at least at this given time. So what I'm going to do, I caught a fish on this lizard already, so I'm going to put that down. I'm going to grab one of these Senkos that we bought, and tried this out on the texas rig and this color looks really good you know it's black and blue and then it has like the blue on the bottom so we're just going to rig this up and go from here bradley's throwing that fluke so we're going to see if we can double pound these baits out real quick and then we're going to be going for like that chatter donk bite which i think we can get out here on the main river but we're going to toy around some main river stuff as you guys can tell you know this covers in the water over here you know there's a lot a lot deeper water on this end so I think we're gonna end up catching some fish down this bank. Hopefully we'll find them really stacked up and like just start putting a hurting on them, which is a good possibility. So we cover some water and see what we can do. I got him. Oh, you do? Oh, it's a decent one. Nice, Bradley. 
Dude, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Good job. He was in that tree, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. That's a good fish. Really good All right, guys. Bradley got his first one of the challenge. That's good a one. nice Geechee bass, bro. It's a really right nice there, one. On the Ned rig. He was in that tree. Like when you hooked at him, I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, you got a tree, bro. And then all of a sudden he started moving. It's a pretty bass. It's a good one. I guess he got the Senko technically. Senko and the shaky head. Both knocked off in that one. It's a beautiful fish. Yeah. That's good. Fish is heavy. Fish number two. Number two. Oh, I knew I had a fish. You want to do? Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Good bass. Nice. Let's go. Now we're getting them. Golly. Just started waiting it out. Found the fish on this bank. He helped jerk the rod out of my hand. Look how he's Beautiful. hooked perfectly. So the Senko's really done. I mean, we both caught one on that Senko. Now we really just need the chatterbait and the fluke, Beautiful which done. they're probably going to be the two hardest baits with how these fish are biting right now. I'm not going to lie. They've, uh, they've been a little finicky. But not a big bass by any means. Fat and chunky, beautiful markings on these Yogichi bass. Just awesome colors on these fish living in this tannic water. That's awesome. We're just fishing this bank right here, threw in this little shade line. Um, so to kind of tell you guys what we're doing right now, we went over there in the marsh and the tide was actually lower than we've ever seen it. And all the cover that the bass would hang on on the main river was just out of the water, you know, completely. Um, so we came up this other river and we found some of these lay downs that are in the water. If you turn around and point that over there, Bradley, you can kind of see, you know, the lay downs that actually have some water on it, you know, a good bit of water um, through oh, the Senko the shade, right up in the shade. Um, you know, it makes sense. The one that Bradley just caught was actually right off of that lay down and he was right there in the current break. Um, so that's the things you need to look for when you're out here, especially when the tide's going down low and there's not much water, you need to find those trees that obviously have a bunch of water on it. Therefore the fish are going to be on it. So, um, we're gonna keep on covering some water. Might throw that Senko a little bit more, catch one or two on it, but um, we need to switch up to that chatterbait and the fluke and get to work. All right, a little rig up session with me and Bradley. Bradley is actually putting a fluke on a shaky head, which ought to be interesting, but I, I think it's gonna get the bites, man. I really do. It's right down here. Ooh, okay. So the chatter donk that I got, this is a 3 8 ounce white and chartreuse chatterbait. We're actually gonna put the fluke on the back of it. Technically, that can knock off both of them, but. Technically technically if it comes down to it yeah if it comes down to it then we can pretty much knock off both those baits but it looks like we're going to be completing this challenge the ogichi challenge on tough conditions because we hit the tide wrong and we don't have too much time today or i would say you know the fish would be chomping in about a couple hours but we do not have a couple hours we actually have 30 minutes yeah, we have about an hour max to catch these fish so we're gonna put our heads down and work white chartreuse chatterbait gonna be rigging a fluke on the back of it Bradley's got the shaky head with the fluke. Looks, that could be some sauce in the current breaks. Really dumb. I don't know. I think it might catch him. Chatter donk. We're going at it. I'm not going to lie. If I hook one on this, he's probably going to be at least a two pounder. So that'll be fun. Let's get to work. There's fish on this bank. That's all we needed to know. We have not found fish today. That's another thing, guys. Fishing uh, places like this, tidal water fisheries, current fisheries, these spots are plenished. So. Where we just caught those fish, if we don't catch them in this bank coming up, which I think we will, but if we don't, we can go back and probably catch some more off those laydowns. Like it's more possible out here than the Savannah River, honestly. Oh, oh get him. Oh, man, that was crazy. He's got it, don't he? Nah. He's, he's not like, running with it? He's running with it. Ain't he? Oh. oh that was him, wasn't it? Probably him. They didn't need it though. They're gonna be going that way down there. Oh, so not good. Sandbar. Oh, I don't know. I can look at this ground right there. I just don't know if that chowder donk's gonna happen right now. So I'm actually gonna put on a different lizard since we got four different colors in there. I mean, shoot, we bought this whole little kit. I'd say we gotta catch more than one fish on it. So, what do you think, Bradley? Green pumpkin, cinnamon, or lemon pepper? 
Or not green pumpkin, watermelon red. Lemon pepper? Pepper lemon? Yeah, that pumpkin seed kind of looks nasty. For the tannic water. So this is the one that we're gonna throw. It's a little pumpkin seed. Rig this bad boy up, see if they'll tear it up. Oh, there he is. Not that quick, bro. He ain't big. All right. <laughs> well, that is not big, but I just literally, what, it was like fifth cast on that thing. Got a little tiny bass, and I need nothing big. But guess what? He's a part of the challenge, so still catching him. All right, so the cinnamon seed, we just got that knocked off. We're just gonna, we're gonna go through the lizard kit, man. We're gonna go through it. Like I said, I just don't know if that chatter dunk's gonna happen. I'm not saying I'm not gonna pick it back up, but you know, we got all these different colored lizards. We might as well continue down the chain. So we're gonna throw the lemon pepper now. Only the OGs know the old lemon pepper joke from back in the day. This thing catches them. Let me tell you, I'm so curious actually. Cause this is like never, I would never come out on the river and be like, let me try a lemon pepper lizard. So watch it be the sauce. I ain't gonna lie, it looks kind of good in the water. Watch it just start smoking them, dude, like every cast. Uh oh. Yes. Lemon pepper, baby. Yes, sir. Where's Not big. Pepper? Huh? You want lemon pepper? Lemon pepper, baby. Lemon pepper. Now we're going down a lizard line. I got one more lizard to complete for the challenge. That is not a big fish, but let me tell you. On the lemon pepper, that's a good. Oh, Bradley, get him. Oh, it's a sad day. Is it a tree? Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm gonna get this fish back in the water. Lemon pepper, three lizards out of the kit. All right, guys, last lizard in the kit. And I freaking completed a kit challenge and almost a full challenge if we can get the chatterbait and the fluke done. I think the fluke's gonna get done. Like I said, I don't know about the chatterbait. This is a watermelon red natural color. This is gonna be really good and clean water. Any of the clean ponds are fishing clean lakes. So that is one of the most basic colors they ever make um, along with green pumpkin. If you're fishing dirty water, black and blue June bug black and red if you're fishing clean water watermelon red green pumpkin all those colors to get the job done but let's see if we can catch one on this i mean we just caught one on a lemon pepper and the geechee i'm sure we can get one on this watermelon red like i said we just we just hit this tide at the wrong time guys i think we would have really put the hurting on the fish a lot better than we are just came to the new spot and gonna throw around this lizard some more ah, hope that there's some fish on this bank Got him. Don't, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh. You got him? Got him. Where'd you got him on, coach? Got him. What you got? Hey. Look at that, don't. Side him. Hey, Get him in the side boat. Yep. Hey, yep. Oh my God. He's dancing. Oh, baby. <laughs> Five ass limit. Five. <laughs> We're watching too much uh, Bassmaster recently, man. Little tiny fish. Bigger than the last two, but. That's all the lizards, bro. That's that's a good little sign. Bro, that's a donkey. That's a donk, bro. You see how big he is? I think he's what, maybe? Seven pounds. I, was, I was thinking like more like nine. That's how Geechee Bass is. Look at the markings on him, though. Dude. It's getting back. Yes, sir. Pretty fish. Every lizard caught a fish on. Like I said, chatterbait fluke. It's the only ones we're iffy on right now. Dude, he was running with it. Yes. I was shutting my GoPro off. They're munching the lizard today. Going around a cockpit? This might as well be a lizard challenge because they are munching it. They're munching the natural color too, man, which is kind of cool. Pretty little fish. Look at that's the thing about the Geechee bass. They're so fat. Got that little fat belly. It's crazy out here, guys. A lot of these tournaments, I think this past week, 10 pounds won. That tells you about the Geech. Those fish are going far away. You'd be surprised. If you catch a couple of those and you got a few good ones, they'll go a long way. 